Today I'm making butternut squash soup in the Instant Pot. One medium-sized butternut squash, two carrots, one apple, one white onion, four cloves of garlic, Fresh sprigs of sage, coconut milk, the following spices, salt, pepper, cayenne pepper, cinnamon, nutmeg, and turmeric. plus some water. The special equipment that you will need are an instant pot and an immersion hand blender. Put the lid on the Instant Pot. You're going to plug in your Instant Pot and make sure the knob at the top is in the ceiling position. And then you're going to um, put the Instant Pot to 8 minutes using the manual button here. It's important that I mention that I did not put the coconut milk into the Instant Pot because that gets added in after the Instant Pot is finished. I also have a little bit of extra coconut milk to garnish the soup at the end as well as a few extra sp sprigs of sage that we can also use to garnish the soup. And finally, I have a immersion hand blender and this is going to help to puree the soup um, and we add that directly into the Instant Pot. Once the Instant Pot is done, I did a quick release by turning the knob to venting. This is what it looks like when it's done in the Instant Pot. of steam <laughs> okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to remove the sprig of sage and we're going to add the coconut milk then I take my immersion hand blender and because this is really hot liquid I just press it in without turning it on and then I just pulse it because I don't want it, the hot liquid to splash up into my face and then I lift it up and put it back in and pulse it and I keep doing this until I get the consistency that I'm looking for um, I like to make it generally smooth with a little bit of chunkiness because I like my butternut squash soup to be a little bit chunky rather than too smooth like baby food.
This is what it looks like when it's all done. To serve it up, I just scoop it up into a bowl. Garnish it with a little bit of fresh sage and some of the reserve coconut milk. Now that all the work is done, let's give this soup a try. Mm. This soup is so delicious and so comforting, especially on a cold autumn day. If you're interested in trying this soup at home, I will leave the recipe in the video description below. Thanks for watching!